Once was a velveteen rabbit, and in the beginning she was really splendid. She was fat and bunchy, as a rabbit should be. She had real thread whiskers, and her ears were lined with pink sateen. Christmas morning, she sat wedged in the top of the boy's stocking. The effect was charming. Wow, my very own rabbit! Chocolate-colored almonds! Duck. Uncle Phil got a new blue sweater, his favorite color. Aunt Sally got a box of caramels, even though she swore she'd never eat them. Dad got a brand new pipe imported all the way from Scotland. Mom got a lovely pearl necklace. It was certainly a wonderful Christmas day for everyone, especially for the little boy, who grew more excited with each new beautifully wrapped present. Soon it was Christmas night, and while the family ate a scrumptious Christmas feast... Oh, what a mess! Some merry Christmas this is. Nobody ever thinks about Nanny, unless there's something to cook or something to clean up. Oh, dear. Well, look at you. A little velveteen rabbit. You know, I almost threw you out. Not the little boy would notice. He's got so many toys already. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas, Nana. Oh, for me? I made it in school. Oh, yeah. Best of my class. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Desserts on the table. What a nice little boy, thought the Velveteen Rabbit, as Nana happily carried her upstairs to the nursery. Toys don't get to choose their owners, and the Velveteen Rabbit felt very fortunate indeed. As so often happens when a child receives many new toys at once, the Velveteen Rabbit was forgotten. Out of my way, you sack of sawdust. I'm on official duty, and you're in my way. You're one of those. Those? An ordinary run-of-the-mill stuffed rabbit. <laughs> is there any other kind? In modern toy circles, actually, your type is quite out of date. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you can't do anything. You have no mechanical parts, no gears, no springs. You're not real at all. <laughs> I'm not real? Then what am I? How should we know? I know what she is, just a cheaply made ho-hum toy that no one would ever want to play with. But that doesn't make... Ooh. I warned you! Oh. Oh. You're lucky. Huh? Up here. I said you're lucky. You landed on your feet. One time I was accidentally knocked over and spent an entire week on my side. Yeah, well I don't feel lucky. I'm not real like all you other toys. Real? <laughs> You're right. Go ahead. Laugh at me. Oh, I'm not laughing at you, silly rabbit. I'm laughing at them. All those expensive, fancy toys. They may look real, but they're not. No? Believe me, I've been in plenty of nurseries over the years. Time goes by and those mechanical toys break their mainsprings, lose a gear or two, and they wind up on the garbage heap. Never seen one of them turn real. Well... 
you're moving and, and I don't see any springs or... Ah, uh, the window's open. I'm moving from the wind. Oh. Your little boy's uncle almost made me real once, but I never quite got there. What is real anyway? Real isn't how you're made. It's a thing that happens to you. Now, when a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Oh, when my little boy really loves me? At least that's the rumor. Like, um, like being wound up or, or bit by bit? Well, it takes a long, long time, and then you become. Well, how will I know when I become real? Most of your hair will be gone, your eyes will drop out, seams will begin to pop, your joints will get loose, and most of your color will have faded. Real's beginning not to sound so great. I mean, uh, won't I be ugly? Only to people who don't understand. And... Once you're real, you can't become unreal again. It lasts for always. I want to be real. Life I want to run free. I want to feel happy or sad, whatever my mood may be. Being stuck on a toy shelf doesn't hold much appeal. I want to be real. She wondered how long it would be before this magic called real would happen to her. Not until we find my china dog. I do not have time to hunt around all night for your china dog. Please go to bed. Okay, here. but I won't be able to sleep. Oh, well, here. Here's your old bunny. She will just have to do. Get under the covers now. Come on. Good night, Nana. Good night, dear. Good night, little rabbit. That night, and for many nights after, the velveteen rabbit slept in the boy's bed. She missed her friend the rocking horse and the quiet moonlight hours, but soon she grew to like spending time with her little boy. This is just like a little rabbit's home. We too. I'll be right back. That's you, all right. What is going on down here? I'm just reading. Oh, reading? Hmm. <laughs> and so time went on. The snow of winter melted into the ground, and in its place, colorful spring flowers began to bloom, 
just like the rocking horse said they would. Would you care for a carrot? I read my book that rabbits like carrots a lot. Had enough? Maybe I'm a rabbit. I like carrots too. It's a butterfly. Think I can catch it? The velveteen rabbit was left out on the lawn. And as night fell, strange new sounds came from the misty darkness. Oh, I swear that boy leaves his toys everywhere. It's amazing he can find anything. Let me see now, imaginary fairy hut under the raspberry canes behind the flower border. Oh, there you are. Well, your little boy has some imagination, but oh my, you are a muddy mess. Oh, that's just more work for Nana in the morning. You found her? Yes, here she is. And next time you want your old bunny, don't leave her outside for me to find. I promise. Thank you, Nana. Oh, you're going to catch a death of cold if you leave this window open all night. Now, good night. Honestly, all that fuss over an old toy. You mustn't say that, Nana. You'll hurt her feelings. You know as well as I do that toys have no feelings. That's just it. She's not a toy. She's real. Oh, poo. Good night, little rabbit. At last it had happened. She was no longer a toy. Her little boy had said it himself. She was real. That was a wonderful summer. Near the house where they lived was a wood. And in the long June evenings after tea, the little boy liked to play there. Of course, he always took his little rabbit along to discuss nature and the seasonal changes. Comfortable? Good. Each time they'd journey into the woods, the little boy would devise new adventures, most too dangerous to include his little rabbit. You stay here and stand watch, little rabbit, while I scout up ahead for the enemy. Here's your ration for this evening. And remember, if you spot the enemy, blow this trumpet. Good luck. These adventures were only make-believe, but they were as real to the velveteen rabbit as they were to her little boy. Make-believe, until this one particular day. Oh, I wish I could blow the trumpet. Bury your buttercup, hurry up, scurry up. Time to have fun while the sun is up. Skip around, flip around, that's how the dancing is done. Being a bunny is sweeter than honey, a bunny's a bundle of fun. Dancing and flipping and hopping and skipping the ribbity rabbity run. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nibble up, bury your buttercup. buttercup. Hurry up, hurry up, scurry up, scurry up. Time to have fun while the sun is up. Sun is up. Skip around, skip around. Skip around. Skip around. That's how the dancing is done. Oh, being, being a bunny is sweeter than honey. A bunny's a bundle of fun. Dancing and flipping and hopping and skipping the ribbity rabbity run. Around the meadows, dancing in the sun. That's what's known as the ribbity rabbity run. Okay, you guys. Looks like she's one of us. Sort of. Are you real rabbits too? <laughs> Good sense of humor. And rather cute. I've never seen a rabbit quite like you before. You from around here? I'm from the house on the edge of the woods. House? It's amazing. You must be very well made. <laughs> well. <laughs> You're so brand new looking. Furry. I don't see a single seam. See? 
What sort of clockwork do you have? What? Hey, you want to dance with us? You're welcome to. No, thank you. Come on, it's easy. What? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nibble up, bury your buttercup. buttercup. Hurry up, hurry up, scurry up. Scurry up. Time to have fun while the sun is up. Skip around, skip around. Skip around. Skip around. That's how the dancing is done. Ooh, being a bunny is sweeter than honey. A bunny's a bundle of fun. Yes. Dancing and flipping and hopping and skipping a rivety rabbity run. Around the meadows, in and out the trees. Chasing shadows faster than a breeze. Ribbity, ribbity, rabbity, having a fling as we sing along, along. jumpity, jumpity, hoppity, doing our thing as we swing along, swing along. skip around, skip around. Flip around. Flip around. Flip around. that's how the dancing is done. Being a bunny is cheering and sunny, a bunny's a bunny. Oh, dancing and flipping and hopping and, hopping and skipping the ribbity, rabbity, run. Ribbity, rabbity, run. Now you try it. I'm afraid I'm much too tired. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. I'd just rather not, that's all. She's not a rabbit at all. Not a real rabbit anyway. I am too a real rabbit. The little boy says so. Little boy? Here he comes now. You can ask him yourself. Come back, please. Suddenly, she forgot all about this. Her little boy didn't look well at all. The velveteen rabbit was very worried. We should get home. It'll be dark soon. Her little boy was ill. People came and went in the nursery, and a light burned all through the night. Something that happens to people sometimes. Nothing you can do about it. Yes, there is. I know there is. My little boy needs me. Nothing you can do. Look, they'll find you sooner or later, take you out of the bed. They won't find me. I'll hide if I have to. I'm staying right here beside my little boy until everything's all right again. <sighs> Suit yourself. I'll stay right here beside you. And that she did. When all was quiet and the nursery was empty, the little rabbit crept up close to the pillow and whispered to her little boy.
soon the little boy got better. Mama? And one bright sunny morning, they carried the little boy to the window. And tomorrow we go to the seaside. Really? Everything's arranged first thing in the morning. <laughs> Hurrah, thought the little rabbit, for her little boy had so often talked to the seaside. Tomorrow we shall go to the seaside, see the big waves, the tiny crabs, build a sandcastle, perhaps. Now, Doctor, what about this old bunny? That? Oh, it's a mass of scarlet fever germs. Should be thrown away at once. Well, couldn't it be disinfected? Get him a new one. Oh, well... All these things must be disposed of. Oh, but... Too dangerous. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, little rabbit. I really am. That night, the little boy slept in a different bedroom, and he had a new bunny to sleep with him. A splendid bunny. All white plush with real glass eyes. And while her little boy slept, the velveteen rabbit lay among the discarded books and toys at the far end of the garden. It was a cold night, and her coat had worn so thin and threadbare from hugging that she shivered. I'm sorry, little rabbit. Goodbye. Although the garden looked so lonely and ominous this night, it reminded the little rabbit of all the wonderful, long, sunlit hours she'd spent with her little boy. She thought of the picnics, the fairy huts, the quiet evenings in the woods. Suddenly, she felt warm inside. Even if I had to lose my beauty and become old and shabby, even if this is how it all ends, I'm happy. Happy because I was real enough to help make my little boy well again. I guess that's what becoming real is all about. Little rabbit, do you know who I am? I'm the nursery magic fairy. I take care of all the playthings the children have loved. And when toys are old and worn out, I come and turn them into real. Wasn't I real before? You were real to the little boy because he loved you. And because you loved him back, now you shall be real to everyone. You'd better hurry, little rabbit. Hurry? Hop out of the garbage bag before they come and take you away. Hop? I have no hind legs. Stop that! I can feel it! I can scratch! Ah! Hurry, little rabbit. Genuine and nothing in between. Being stuck on that toy shelf, can hold my to pill it now at last. Look at me, I really am. <laughs> Over here, in the forest. <gasps> I've brought you a new friend. You must be very kind to her and teach her everything she needs to know in Rabbit Land, for she's going to live with you for a long, long time. Run and play, little rabbit. <laughs> rabbit turned back to thank the fairy, but she was already gone. She was a real rabbit at last. <laughs> At home with the other rabbits. Where'd she go? Oh, she's behind us. Okay. Autumn passed on, and winter. And in the spring, when the days grew warm and sunny, 
The boy went out into the woods just behind the house. While he was playing, he saw two rabbits peeking at him from the bracken. One of them was brown all over, but the other had a hint of white on her forehead, as though long ago a spot had been there. And about her little soft nose and her round, dark brown eyes, there was something familiar. Come on! We can't stay! Come on! You know, you look just like my little rabbit. The one I lost when I had scarlet fever. Goodbye, little rabbit. But he never knew that it really was his little rabbit. She'd come back to take one last look at the child who had first helped her to be real.